trouble me, Grundox. A witcher. Just what our band of merry men need. You trouble me, Grey Ox. It's true you killed Keats. You and our commander. Geralt of Rivia. Safe and sound. Chest, right? Who cares about the Scoyatel anymore? Temerian, that's what matters. How'd you wind up here? Came with the army, of course. Its remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything. Threw it all away to hell and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the second Temerian army under John Natalis. We were to stop the Black One's advance along the dull Blathana Mount Carbon line. And we did. For three days. Then they smashed us into splinters. Soon after, I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. That he'd promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis's army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than a mere. So I decided I would mount my own fight. Mentioned you have a problem. Mm-hmm. It's Vess. She took a couple of lads across the river. She plans to hit the Black Ones at Mulbradale. So? Sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Yes. When they're ordered to. Whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. Indefinitely. Why Mulbradale? Why'd Vess go there? The peasants from the village aided us earlier. The Nilfgaardians learned of this. Word got out they're planning a punitive expedition. Probably hang every fifth villager. Hmm. Honestly, Vess's desire to save the villagers makes sense. What doesn't is your opposition to the plan. War means death. Not only for the soldiers, for the common folk as well. You can't save them all, it's that simple. Funny. Had you for an idealist. You were right to. Are right to. But I have one ideal. A free Temeria. And I'm prepared to sacrifice anything for it. Don't trust Vess anymore? Bollocks. She's prepared to die for me. No, that's not the problem. No one distinguishes a soldier from a common swashbuckler. The uniform? It's a serious question. A rhetorical one. So instead of waiting for an answer, just enlighten me. Soldiers think tactically. They know when to strike, when to fall back, when to charge and when to hold. Vess finds this difficult. She's impulsive, hot-headed. Yet in guerrilla warfare, one false step and you're fucked. I confined her to the camp because I feared that sent out, she'd go rabid and make a mistake. I was right. All right, so you've got a problem. Insubordination. What am I supposed to do about it? I doubt Vess has entered the village. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. We must find her before she attacks and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. Count me in. Thanks, Geralt. I'll owe you a favor. Meet me in Velen beneath the Hanged Man's Tree. It's just a short jaunt from there to Mulberrydale. Beware of the other side of the river. One false move, and you could be royally fucked. 